Hey everyone. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I had to look at something real quick. Uh, okay, I was gonna do like I said, I unboxed my Amazon stuff. Um, earlier, but I'm just gonna do this real quick. I got this because this was a hit of this hit of this uh, meal last night. I got one box of this from Walmart uh, yesterday morning or the other morning when I went with to Walmart with my friend after work. And it ended up hitting. I never was really the biggest fan of this, this stuff. Maybe when I was a kid, I don't remember. But, like, when I ate it later, or like, even recent years, it was it's hit and miss. But I did like the ones in the little cups. Um, the ones Easy Mac. And I always feel like it's, like, a little, my niece's food or something. Like, you know, I just feel like so, like, why am I eating this? It's like kid's food. <laughs> but, um, for some reason, those always hit. Um, even though I didn't feel these always do. But, um... It hit last night, and so I'm going to have one of these, some of this for my dinner tonight. I'm going to make in the air fryer um, some of my frozen fish fillets, and then it's this. Um, and it's good, you guys. I like it. I use my lactate, uh, low-fat milk, um, butter. Just, just I follow the recipe. Um, it's good, and it was only less than $4 for this on Am off Amazon. I ordered it this morning, this, and then two other things. And they came tonight. They came around maybe seven, six or seven tonight. So if you, have, I don't know if that's just a prime thing or just over here or what, because I've been hearing different things. But um, oh, and the, you guys, the meal, I enjoyed my meal. It was really good. Um, like I said, I put macaroni and potato salad on the side, and then had my ribs. It was this morning. I made all that. Everything was delicious. Um, for for fourth though, I might do um I might do some kind of other barbecue meat. Because I like ribs and I like barbecue stuff, links, all that, but it's not something that I want to eat that close again. And I just ate it yesterday or this morning. Um like my mom and they love ribs, but for me, you we would have a whole bunch in the freezer from when cooking them and like leftovers and just when my uncle would send them and I'm just not the biggest rib fan like I like them at the time they're really good but I don't like them as leftovers as much it just doesn't hit to me so I would usually give them to my dad if I had them leftovers since he's not here right now um it, that just leaves me and I don't want to like leave him behind because I don't want to deal with any issues with that so um in the freezer, so I, what I'm gonna do is what I did was there was only maybe three left anyway, because once they cooked down, it was only like it, it didn't look as like it was that many as I thought it was gonna be. Thank goodness, because then I would have had a lot of leftovers. Um, so I'm gonna do either steak or some kind of um barbecue beef or I don't know for the Fourth of July. I might even just do hot dogs and beef hot dogs. And, um, <laughs> um, fish, shrimp, I don't know what I'm going to do, but not ribs again, because I was just, I just had them yesterday, and I'm like, nah, I might do, um, uh, since I know how to do them now, though, I feel good about doing them again when I want them, but, um, I don't know, I'm still deciding what I'm going to do for the fourth. I am probably going to still get that potato salad from Winko, though, so, I'm going to keep you guys posted. Okay, the other thing I got from Amazon was a pack of these, uh, kind of a bootleg version of, uh, Gatorade Zero packet. I want to try something different. Gatorade Zero, kind of getting burned out on those. Um, I only really like one or two of the flavors, and when you get the variety pack, it's like, the orange and the blue to me just aren't really that good anymore. The blue's never really been that good in the packets, but... The um, orange was, and now I'm getting tired of them. So I said I'll try something else. I was going to get the lemon and lime of this. They gave these out of my work one time, um, strawberry lemonade. It was, it was okay from what I remember. This is like, like Gatorade Zero. Um, I made one already. Uh, it's good. It tastes like Crystal Light Fruit Punch. Um, I recommend this flavor. If I didn't like them, I was going to return them and get the lemon lime. Um... So yeah, these are good. they're about sixteen for fifty on Amazon. Um, on Amazon, they have different flavors: mixed berry, orange. Um, what else? Grape, watermelon, lemonade, 
um, Icy Lemonade, they have different ones, so whatever flavor you want. I kind of looked at the reviews, too, to make my decision, just in case. Everyone has different tastes, but there's a variety pack I was kind of interested in getting next time, though. To see, um, it comes with blue, orange, watermelon, strawberry, strawberry lemonade, and I forgot what the fourth one is. But, and that'll help me decide what I want. If, but then that doesn't have the lemon lime, so I'm like, I'm still not going to be able to try it. Unless I order it. Um, but so yeah, I got these. I drink so many of these. I, I calculated it. I drink at work maybe a, two to three a shift. So if I work four days, that's going to be like, let's say I do two. That's eight a week. So if there's 50, that's about six weeks worth. But give and take, you know, some days I drink more than that. Sometimes I drink less. It, it depends if I have, you know, because I do still have Gatorade Zero packets. So it's not like I'm going to just every, calculate to the last packet in these because I still have other ones I need to get through from other things. But. Last one, at least I got this. Okay, I was about to return this tonight. I'm about to go right on the app and return it. But I looked it up, and you have to let it kind of marinate in the sun or under a kind of light for the glow feature to work. So I'm going to wait on that. I'm going to see what happens tomorrow. Um, but unfortunately, if it doesn't glow or whatever, then um, I'm going to have to, if I return it tomorrow, I won't. Well, I have a bottle anyway, so I don't need to rush and get another one. But if um, if it doesn't do it, then um, I I just have to wait until I return this one, and then um, and then they give me the credit back or whatever. And then um, I probably won't get another thing, anything else. I just won't get anything else after that. But I wanted to try the glow one, and it was cheap. It was they were trying to get rid of them, obviously. So I don't know. I like Nalgene, though. They're BPA-free. I like the white mouth because you can put ice in it. That work, we have ice. Um, and it has the measurements right here. Um, so you can know how much water or Gatorade Zero, whatever you're drinking. So I'm a, I'm a fan of the brand. Okay. Last but not least is today's video mostly is I was doing a review on Trader Joe's Cold Brew Coffee. Now, I'm a fan of cold brew coffee. I'm not the big fan of instant coffee. I haven't drank instant coffee in forever because I don't I don't drink it. They drink it here, but they drink decaf. So, there's a whole bunch of decaf jars around here. Empty jars. Um, so, that was a no-go anyway for decaf. But, I drink, I do like the cold brew from Starbucks. Um, now, I got a Trenta last time. That thing stretched for two days. Like, because I just drank half of it. Um, I drank half of it that day, and then I drank, um, I didn't drink some the next day, and then I drank the rest, um, the next, uh, the night that I went, the last night I went, Saturday, so I was caffeinated up, you guys, because that's why I was able to cook all that stuff yesterday morning, this morning, because I was, I had had a rain, and the caffeine doesn't usually keep me on like that, like that way. I still get tired and drowsy, no matter how much rain, or, um, I, I try not to drink a lot of energy drinks to find out, I mean, if I, it would keep me up all day. Some people drink three and four of those things, I'm like, I'm good, you know, because I don't judge anyone on that, but I just, I experienced already, like, if you do it too much before, so I know kind of like what, I know my personal boundaries, but... Um, like, um, and it was funny because, like I said, I have a friend there, and we were talking, and she's like, oh, this is my third one, but then I saw her later one shift, and she was like, still about to kill over, so I'm like, girl, them things ain't working, <laughs> three, one, three, whatever, but anyway, um, so I do like the cold brew, but at Starbucks for the Twenta is about five, four, four something or five. And that might be good for your points there, but it's not good for your pocket all the time, especially right now. Trying to budget. Um, they do sell over the counter. They do sell like in the stores and Walmart and all them, like maybe ten bucks for some concentrated one. And then I think also I seen them, but I don't know. I gotta look more up on it. That might be something worth investing in since I do like it, you know. But I am gonna probably go on. 
tomorrow because I might go to my uh, my taco dude in LA. I haven't been to him. It's been since before April. So I haven't hit them up in a while. Got them tripa tacos. Got those carne asada tacos. Got the real good burritos. I haven't been there. And so maybe on my way, I'll get a cold brew. I don't know. Because he doesn't set up shop until like maybe 4 in the afternoon. So it won't be till later. But Okay, my ice is already melting for this demonstration. Uh, okay, anyway. So what you need for this recipe is you need a cup, some kind of mug or glass thing. I like to use this because it has the measurements on here. And it's see-through. It's glass. You need your cold brew. You need some sort of creamer or half and half or milk or something. I have lactate milk in there, but I don't need milk in my coffee. I can use creamer. Um, in fact, I was when I was at Trader Joe's earlier, I was going to get vanilla almond milk in Sweden. But I was like, I won't drink it or I won't use it because I'll just use the creamer. Especially if it's a Sweden creamer, um, almond milk. And you need a cup. And you need ice. This ice is already melting because it's been out for about 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, so. First what you do. They say use a teaspoon of dried instant coffee. But I use, I'm going to be using a tablespoon in general. Today for demonstration, demonstrative purposes, I will just use a teaspoon. Just because also I don't know how it, it may help me with, it may hit with me for a teaspoon. But. In general, I would use a tablespoon just because I think I need more caffeine than this a teaspoon worth. So you need one heaping teaspoon of Trader Joe's instant cold brew to 12 ounces of cold water. Now this part confused me when I first read it because I was like, wait, it's instant. I thought you use like hot water, boiling water, or hot if you insist. I'm going to do it hot because that's just how I do it. Okay, I know that it's instant. I know that it's cold brew, you guys. I'm probably not doing it the way they want you to do it initially. They say use cold water. I'm going to just use hot because that's just how I'm used to doing it. And it says you can if you want because you're going to put ice anyway. Um, to achieve your preferred brew strength and add more coffee or more water if desired. Okay, so you start off with 12 ounces of water. This water was boiling. It's probably warm now. It's probably, no, actually it's probably still hot. Yeah, it hasn't been that long. So you need 12 ounces, which is about, I want to say, one and a half cups. Ooh, I'm going to burn my hand. One and a half cups of water, more or less to your liking. Um, and then one teaspoon. I wonder if I should just do it with the tablespoon. I'm already kind of calculating mentally, and I'm like, how is that even like enough coffee? Because one, they say one coffee. In, when you do ground coffee in a machine, they say use um, six ounces per one t one teaspoon per six ounces. So I'm gonna do two teaspoons, heaping teaspoons. Stir it around. So just so you know, FYI, you guys. This coffee, this can be made with cold water. Just because I guess it's instant anyway. Okay. Now, I'm going to add the ice to this cup. It's all melted now. It's basically like ice water. I mean, water. Little nuggets of ice now. Melt it. Okay. 
can pull you guys in. Ooh, don't get messy on me. Okay, that was kind of a mess. <laughs> um, so now you add... I'm just gonna add the creamer right away. Or should I just let me taste it first because I tasted Starbucks coffee first. Mm. I may have taste twice put too much coffee there. I think I prefer maybe a little more water down. In that. Okay, put the creamer. Mmm. The creamer made it so much better. So, I looked it up and they say one serving of this coffee um, is 100 milligrams of caffeine. So if I did two teaspoons, it's about 200 milligrams right here. I like it. Um, it's a little not, it's a little less, uh, a little not as strong or um, as, whatchamacallit, um, bitter as like a regular coffee I think would be. Um, so I think it works good with, with like iced coffees and stuff because it's like, it's just not, I don't know, it's just like the Starbucks one compared to the regular coffee and regular iced coffee is real bitter and stuff, but the cold brew was really like, you know, smooth. And yeah, that's the one I'm looking for. It's just, I like it. Um, but I don't know if I would necessarily get this brand again. I want to try the Starbucks concentrate one just because I do like the Starbucks one actually. Mm. I don't know, I'm just not the like, biggest instant fan. But it works for this. It works. It's going to give me my caffeine I need right now to cook dinner and everything. But um, overall, I say get it if you just. I got it really for just in a pinch because I was making um, the iced coffees. On that video that time, and sometimes that is kind of time consuming as far as boiling the water, but I ended up boiling the water anyway. Um, boiling the water and um, measuring this, measuring that, but it all kind of is the same difference. Uh, so you might as well, in my opinion, just use regular coffee and put ice um, or um, get the pre they do have pre made ones that are about the same price as this. Um, that Starbucks has the cold brew at Target and, um, Vons and all of them have it. And, um, they were sold out at Target, actually, because I looked on their website, but, at this Target. But, um, I say if you just want to do the cold brew, in my opinion, I would just buy the ones that are already made, pre-made at the, the Target and stuff. And, um... It depends how much you drink it. Like, for me, I'm a casual coffee drinker, so I don't need to really have, like, a lot of it and sitting around in bags because I just, I drink it when I kind of want to drink it. Um, but because I was drinking it out a lot, buying it out a lot, I figured I should just try to make it at home. So I do like making it at home. I have the espresso, I have the coffee mix, I have all that stuff, so, um... I'm good, but I'm gonna probably I'm gonna try one of the already premium ones that um that Vons or whatever sells from the Starbucks brand and see because I do like it, but I don't want to like always go to the actual Starbucks and spend like the amount I could get for a bottle that has like two or three servings in it. So same thing. So we'll see you guys. But anyway, I was up to guess later. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll go get that tomorrow at Vons. Um, and I'll do a little taste test. Alright, talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Bye.